Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit different than my extreme cleaning motivation. We are starting to go through every single closet in our home and this one is by far one of the worst ones. We have so much stuff piled up in here so we're taking out every single thing going through it piece by piece and it's going to be over the course of the next several videos because there's so much to do and it's like moving puzzle pieces and it always gets way, way worse before it gets better. But what better time to do it than when we are stuck at home. So I hope this video brings you tons of motivation, even though it's not the nitty gritty cleaning that I typically do. It's a lot of organizing and also we're going to be doing some painting as we start in on Ava's room, which turned out so beautifully and I'll show it to y'all towards the end of this video. But I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started. Since we are taking on such a huge project of moving all the rooms around, I figured the only way that my brain would be able to process all this is to clear out certain areas. So I just basically started with this one, which we're going to turn into the boys closet. It's the closet off the girls room, which is now going to be the boys room and Ava is taking over. Bo's room and Kate is taking over Max's room and I'll show you all the whole process of everything we're doing and all the paint colors they're picking out. It's going to be a lot of fun to be able to see them pick out specific things for their rooms and like let their personality shine a little bit more than they already do. But right now the best thing I knew to do was just clean out this area and we're going to be hanging some shelving in here and get the boys clothes all hung up in here. But it's definitely going to be a process as we order stuff online and I know it takes a while for stuff to be shipped these days anyway. But we got the kids in bed and we wanted to take a little break from the upstairs. And since we're all six home every day, all day, the house is definitely taking a little bit of a beating. So I wanted to get the kitchen and the living room area cleaned up before we went to bed. hope over these past few days and what will probably turn into these next few weeks that you guys are staying safe and finding peace in the midst of it all. 
I know it's hard and these are some uncertain times and I almost feel silly not to even reference what we're all going through in my videos, but at the same time, I don't really want it to be just this negative place where we all feel sad. I will say my heart truly goes out to anyone who has struggled with this sickness or obviously the ones who have lost their lives and the family members and it's horrible. It is so horrible and Mark and I have just been trying to do our part to stay healthy, to keep our kids healthy, to stay off the roads and to just stay home. We've had a couple grocery deliveries but other than that we've really tried to stay home and it's been an adjustment for sure but it's the least we can do to try to just get rid of this illness the best that we know how and I just want to let y'all know that I'm praying for each and every one of you whether you believe in the power of prayer or not it is so powerful and I think that we're all going to come out stronger on the other side of this but it is something that we're going to have to go through first and there's always always good that can come out of terrible situations and I just hope y'all are looking for the good and just finding peace in the midst of it all. We are so random You bring the darkness to the light Split the atom I ignore the fact That this will never last Your words come out so soothing That I forget that this thing is confusing Having such a blast But don't ask where my head is at Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us I don't care about love Just need your touch Want you to be my I've been trying to make sure to sanitize and disinfect all of the surfaces of my home and the things that my kids touch a lot, including these Nintendo Switch controllers because they can get nasty, first of all, but then on top of that, just have tons of germs on them. And I also have been wiping down my kids' Kindles too because they are definitely getting screen time over the next few weeks and these past few days because we're all home together and it's just what makes sense for our family, but we do try to limit it as best we can. I haven't always been the best with this and actually you can't even tell with the way that I edit these cleaning videos but I've gotten so much better about it lately spraying the disinfecting spray on my countertops and letting it sit for the amount of time that it says sometimes it says 10 seconds sometimes it says 45 seconds sometimes it says two minutes I just try to let it sit and really do its job and wait and then come back and wipe things down and I know it's probably a mental thing but it just almost feels cleaner when you do that on the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's why I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me I keep on trying to the 
and keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end. Lost my head on Vilma's back between the jars and bottle jug. Just me and all the red lights. Keep on driving and driving. There is really no reason for this, but my pew has looked like this for a couple weeks now. And I think it's because anytime I clean out a certain area of my home, I have all these miscellaneous things left over like sunscreen and a random diaper. We don't even use diapers anymore and Christmas crafts that we never used and apparently a pair of flip flops. I don't even know, but basically my method of cleaning all this up is putting it in a bin and probably dealing with it later but I have a lot of these bins laying around my house and that's what we're tackling over these next few weeks. So if you guys have random areas in your home that just look like total junk, I promise you're not alone. <laughs> It always feels so good to go to bed with a clean main floor area even though I know that the upstairs is a total disaster this somehow still feels peaceful to me and yes there's still crumbs all over my floor I promise y'all I will sweep from time to time but I've still been absolutely obsessed with my Robo Rock nothing about what I'm saying right now is sponsored I just wanted to show y'all I'm still using it and loving it and now we are moving on to my closet this was the next day and we are actually turning this side of the closet into Mark's office or clawfice and he just really needs an area to work from home and we thought about giving him the office upstairs but this kind of works best as far as where it is in the house. So what I'm doing right now is going through all of my clothes and getting rid of everything that I don't wear and I was trying to be really honest with myself because sometimes I just keep things for the fun of it and I know I'm not ever gonna wear them so I got rid of a ton of stuff y'all will see the bins of stuff I got rid of towards the end of this video but I want to clear out a good bit of space on this side because we're gonna move Mark's clothes from his side over to my side eventually and then have his whole side be empty and just for his office and we're gonna end up painting it or possibly even putting some wallpaper up that's another project for another day but I just wanted to keep y'all updated on what we're doing Maybe it's cause we are Got time and we're wasted Got no plans for the night I love how you look at me Feeling love, nothing to lose Can we stay here tonight cause I don't wanna go I know the tension's gone now And that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again so I keep pushing rewind Hoping you'll still by my side We can't get lost in time But don't you wanna do it all again? Start gonna repeat in my mind Dancing with you by my side We can't get lost in time Yeah, I wanna do it all again Okay, now we're moving on to the fun stuff. This is Bo's room and it is going to become Ava's room. So a lot of this furniture is going to be out and we're painting it this color, which is a color match to Sherwin-Williams navel. So we just wanted to take everything off the walls. Of course, we're patching up any of the holes and then getting to painting, which is a huge task. I know this is only one room, but we're going to be painting a few rooms in our home. And this just kind of let me know that I might want to space out my projects a little bit because it takes some time and you might be a little bit sore afterwards. So I keep pushing it
And I also recorded a good bit of this process on my vlogging channel, just more of a vlogging style. So if you guys want to see that part of this room transformation, make sure you check out our family vlogging channel, which is The Thornton Life. I will also have it linked in my description box, but I kind of went into detail and explained a few things that we're doing and our plans for the next few days too. But for those of you who don't know, we are doing blue on just the top of this room. By the way, Ava picked this color out. I mean, of course I okayed it because I didn't want it to be something like so, so crazy, but she knew she wanted dark blue and there are so many ways to make this. A beautiful room for a girl blue doesn't have to just be for boys but we knew we wanted to brighten up the darkness and so on the bottom we did white and you'll see here in a minute we did kind of like our DIY version of wainscoting or board and batten and it ended up looking really really good neither mark nor I had ever tackled anything like this before but we do have a lot of the supplies that we need just in our garage so we figured what better time to do it than now. And obviously it took a little bit of like measuring and figuring things out. And we also knew we didn't want to take on anything where we would have to tear our baseboards out. So we did thinner strips going down, which you'll see in just a little while, which you basically can't even tell. And it just helps you keep your baseboards, which is what we wanted to do. So anyways, I just wanted to let y'all know that if Mark and I can tackle a project, anybody can. And if there's something you've been wanting to do in your home, especially these days, if you have the supplies on hand, do it because it's a lot of fun to work together, even though it's a ton of work too, but the payoff is always worth it. something meaningful say something i don't know i want to know you better the way that you talk to me the way that you make me feel i don't know if you're real i want to put you in that spotlight looking at you all night put you in that spotlight you make me feel fine Wanna look at you all night Put you in that spotlight Oh, you know you Until my lungs give out your beautiful Put you in that spotlight 
looking at you all night, all night. I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful. Okay, it's the next day, but we put back on the same painting clothes so we don't ruin any more clothes, but we got a good bit done yesterday. We got all of the railing up all the way around and all of the strips going down. We got those done too, and I filled in all the holes, like caulked all the holes. So now we're just working on painting, and that's really all that we have left in here. And then moving all of Bo's furniture out of here, which we probably should have done first but I will show y'all what it looks like when it's all done I'm hoping to get the painting done in the next hour or maybe two I don't know painting is a lot of work like a lot more than what I remembered but I really really love the way it looks I can't wait to get it like actually decorated in here but that'll be a project for another day Okay, back to my closet, and yes, those clothes sat there for a couple days. That's just kind of how life is right now, all over the place, but I know I'm going to get stuff done. It's just going to take a few days or weeks or maybe even months, but I wanted to get all of these clothes packed away so we can take them and donate them because I don't need them taking up space if I'm not even going to wear them. So I wanted to get that done. In the next video, or maybe the one after that, we'll be moving all of Mark's clothes over and decorating his little office area. But it just felt good to get these clothes out of my house. Now that that's done, I wanted to show y'all what Ava's room looked like all finished. We actually ended up running out of white paint, and so I know at some point in the next few weeks or months I'd like to get some more just to do touch-ups, but you can barely even tell, and she loves it, so that's all that matters. And I was pretty proud of us considering we had never done something like this before. I thought it turned out really good, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope y'all have a wonderful week. I love y'all, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>